Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two popular single engine turboprop aircraft and then comparing them. Our first aircraft is the Piper M600 or SLS, which is a variant of Piper's M class aircraft. Next is the newly certified Epic E1000. In 2015, Piper introduced the M600 as an upgrade to the M500. It received its FAA certification on June 18, 2016. Between June 2016 and March 2018, 50 were delivered, mostly in the USA and mostly by owner flown. When Piper introduced the M600, they exceeded industry expectations for performance and operational ease in a single engine pressurized turboprop. A clean sheet designed wing was a key foundational enhancement that paved the way for product growth. Now they are using that platform to raise the bar in safety, luxury and support. Introducing the M600 or SLS, setting new standards for aircraft in every category meeting the highest standard in general aviation. Before we move on, I wanted to point out that the Piper has a special safety system. It's called the Halo Safety System, which is a compilation of innovative technologies unique to the M600 or SLS, including but not limited to hypoxia recognition with an automatic descent mode. It monitors pilot activity when the autopilot is engaged above 14,100 feet. If needed, it brings the aircraft to a lower altitude to allow recovery from hypoxia. If the pilot does not immediately recover, Autoland will activate and land the aircraft. It also includes automatic level flight mode, which is a blue button. It returns the aircraft to a wings level attitude with zero vertical speed at the push of a button. And Safe Taxi, a highly detailed geo-referenced aircraft map that displays your aircraft's position on the airfield with an overlaid map of the whole short line. Next, the Epic E1000. The Epic E1000 is an American single engine, six seat turboprop light aircraft developed by Epic Aircraft of Bend, Oregon. Epic's aim was that the E1000 would be the fastest single engine civil aircraft at the time of its introduction. On Epic's aircraft official website, this is how they describe the aircraft. From urban city center to remote backcountry strips, the versatile Epic E1000 provides access to more airports than any other aircraft in its class. With speed, performance, superior short field and slow handling capabilities, trailing link landing gear, and full reversing prop, Epic expands your horizon from the concrete jungle to the tropical jungle and beyond. Your choice, no sweat, let the adventure begin. Now onto the flight deck. The flight deck of the Epic E1000 features a three screen Garmin G1000 NXI avionics package with synthetic vision and Sirius XM weather. On the other hand, the Piper SLS has the newer Garmin G3000 avionics package. We will now compare the power plant of these two aircraft. The engine manufacturer for both the Piper SLS and Epic E1000 is Pratt & Whitney Canada and are both powered by PT6A series engines. The Piper M600 or SLS is powered by the PT6A-42A engine model with a power rating of 600 shaft horsepower. The Epic E1000 is powered by a PT6A-67A engine model with a power rating of 1200 shaft horsepower, double that of the Piper M600. Both the Piper M600 or SLS and the Epic E1000 have hard cell four bladed propellers which features reversible pitch, constant speed and fully feathering propellers. Next is a comparison between the performance of these aircraft. When it comes to speed, the Epic E1000 wins. It has a max cruise speed of 330 knots, while the Piper M600 has a max cruise speed of 274 knots. 
The Epic E1000 can also fly higher with a service ceiling of 34,000 feet while the Piper M600 has a service ceiling of 30,000 feet. The Epic E1000 has an impressive max climb rate of 4,000 feet per minute. And in comparison, a mere 1,556 feet per minute for the Piper M600. Next, onto the range of these two aircraft. The Epic E1000 has a maximum range of 1,650 nautical miles when flying at 265 knots, but at a faster 325 knots, it can only fly 1,385 nautical miles. The Piper M600 or SLS has a max range of 1,658 nautical miles when flying at 184 knots. But at a faster 274 knots, it can only fly 1,209 nautical miles. On to the payload. The Epic E1000 has a max takeoff weight of 8,000 pounds and a max payload of 1,100 pounds with full fuel, which is about 288 gallons. The Piper M600 or SLS has a max takeoff weight of 6,000 pounds and a max payload of 658 pounds with full fuel, which is about 260 gallons. The Epic E1000 has a cost of about 3,250,000 US dollars. The Piper M600 or SLS has a unit cost of about 2,850,000 US dollars. Now we're going to compare operational cost. Based on a $4.25 per gallon for fuel cost, the Epic E1000 costs approximately $1,122.12 an hour to operate. In contrast, the Piper M600 costs approximately $928.08 an hour to operate. Thanks for watching this video. I would like to know your thoughts on the newly certified Epic E1000 and the Piper M600 or SLS. If you enjoyed the comparison video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.